so many tanks. I didn't know it, but yeah, Jason, prime time, he just put out a video six hours ago, but it's a real technical one and all the different fish, their names, so forth and so on. I am nowhere near that. I just like the pretty fish, looking at them. She's helping me grab ones that won't be aggressive, get too big, get along with everybody. And that's what I want. Oh, look at she got some floating. Some Cory cats. Yeah. I might have to get, well, we're gonna go with the Siamese algae cleaner when she gets those in. <laughs> they must think I'm gonna feed them because they're all coming up. What's up, guys? Several. All right, he actually a different fish that I have no idea. Except for that looks like a bird, I think. Again, they think I'm gonna feed them, so we should get some good pictures. And see, they're just a nice mom and pop shop. There's not a lot of them left, but these guys are awesome. I'm definitely trying to give them my business. I definitely will. Well, of course, they carry all the supplies, nutrients, food, filters, everything you need. Oh, look at him, he's pretty. He has some color. Videos just don't do the justice to him. And then I do, ooh, look at that, they got the rocks. Oh, they even got wood. Everything. They got it all. Oh, look at these guys. They're beautiful. <laughs> How are you over there? Wow. Look at that. Peacock chicklet. Cichlids. We know. Oh, aren't they awesome? See, they're just. Look at how long the row is. And I'm sure if you. I don't even know. I, I watched it briefly. So I didn't go through it all, but I know it looked like he went through all the fish. I don't know if he went through all the plants. I got so many plants as well. Check out. We do need to get some more plants. That's going to take time, one thing at a time. It's kind of like what I got in the tank now, I guess. Maybe it's this up here. I don't know. Yeah, it looks more like this stuff right here. Oh, that's cool. It looks like real grass. Underwater grass. Yeah, I just finished the. Yeah, there are Broadview Heights right next to Strongsville, North Royalton area. If you guys are in the area, you need to check them out. Ooh, I like that stuff. That's kind of neat in the background. Have you figured out your five? Are you going to do quarries? I was going to do quarries. That was what? Mmm. 
Yeah. Really, really need to do that trip. She's just so far away. That would be uh, Haley, you know. Haley Cox, Oddball Aquatics. And she's already told me, come on down, Reaper. We'll, you know, take care of you, set you up. Do a whole lesson on aquatic plans, so need to get that set up. I didn't realize those shrimp could get that big. I wonder if ours will. Hmm. If they do, that'd be awesome. Some little fish. They're so small. See, my glasses aren't that good. Get a new pair. Hope they're coming out all right. <laughs> I'd be wasting a lot of time. Scissor tail. Neat. Ah, those are neat looking. Oh, I thought there was two. There's more than that. Oh, there's more coming over in the back. Huh. There's a whole bunch of them in there. It's actually a small little store, uh, print, you know, book-wise or footage-wise, but boy, I tell you what, it is jam-packed. Every space is used and well, well done. Oh, look at how colorful they are. Oh, they got big eyes. Thanks. Something. 
for a little store, they really have it really packed really well. Just stands upon stands. Ooh, look at these guys. They're pretty big. Somebody likes the fish. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get something put together here. So now you know why they're brown. They're not. They have the Indian almond leaves in there. Make them feel happy and at peace. At home. Makes total sense. What you don't think of. Now this is a 125 or a 150. Probably 150 is taller than mine. A couple big Oscars in there. Just beautiful. Cichlids, all kinds of different things. Ooh, even uh, ones in Rich's tank. What are those? Oh, oh what are those? Oh, man. <laughs> Some process? Not any net. There he is right there. Rich got a whole tank of them, but I can't think of a name. Beautiful. One day I'd like a tank like that. But that'll be some time down the road. Oh, he was bright blue when he turned a certain way. Like that. Look at that. Well, depending on the light he goes in, depending on the color he is. Nice. And this is a tank above that one. <laughs> I wish there was a way to keep the reflection down. Hey everybody, I just got back from Agnaquanic and it was awesome. <laughs> I've met George, I met him in Aquashella already, maybe even a few other places like he said, so that was awesome. But <clears throat> Alicia's wife took me around and uh, you know I walked out of the store, came home, got some dinner. And I brought a box. Yeah. What was in the box? Well, Dawn's about to open up the first one. And there they are. Neon. I forget which one. But, alright, let them home. Let them out. Alright. Yeah, little guys. guppy females are all interested. Say, oh, we got I know, they're all looking. Okay. Here we go. The bag right now. There you go. All right, look at that color. That's what I want. Color. Look at them. Wow, they're beautiful. All right. All right, so we'll go on to bag number two. All right, bag number two. Again, I'm gonna call her and have her give me the names exactly. I'm not sure what they were, but I made what she did was make sure that all the fish are compatible, is what we're doing. And like I told her, I, I want color. And these guys are just little babies, but they'll grow up and then we'll see how they There they, turn they out. go. Ooh. There you go. There you go. Mm -hmm. Check them out, Kurt. All right, and now we'll get bag number three. And the third bag. And she said, these guys are overlooked a lot. And I, I wanted color, and that they are very colorful. Here we right. go, guys. Pull it out, pull it out. There we are. They look neat. All right, look at 
took a camp. Orange with black stripes. Yeah, look at that. They're hiding over here right now. They'll get familiar. Those are the babies. But yes, we're gonna get some color in here. See the just little start. Yep. bristle nose down there? But just to start everybody. I mean this tank is big, so but I gotta get some light going and gotta gotta start. So we got four kinds of fish in there. We got some snails and we got the two uh crawdads in there as well. And the shrimp. That's right, we got the shrimp in there. So the 55's gotta start. Gotta start. We'll, we'll get that in better. I like those guys. I wish they wouldn't hide. They'd be out here more, but that's alright. They'll get used to the team. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed this update on the 55. And then, as I was, uh, when I first opened a bag, there was a bag inside the box. And in the bag, <laughs> she threw in a t-shirt. Thank you so much. I'll make sure I wear it. So, that was a good little trip. Good little mom and pop store. Like I said, Lori and a lot of our uh, people from OFR already know them and go there. So, if you guys are in our area, check them out. They're a great place. Hey everybody, hope you enjoyed the video. I had a great time. And as you see, it's like about 24 hours or so later and they're all swimming around more in the middle now. And just awesome. So I got a tank going. There's that bristle nose sitting there, the albino. And one of the shrimps is right there at the end. See him right there. There's two of those guys in there. We'll see what they turn out to be, but look at that color. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I know I really wasn't looking for small fish, but this tank was going bad, and I had to save the plants and everything else, so I had to put something in here. And what the heck, I'm just going to go with a really colorful, you know, community tank here with smaller fish. And... Like I said, when these guys in the next four or five years or so, they'll be having to go back, especially the Shaq Koi Fry Baby, he's getting big now. And when they get back over to Big Riches, then I'll do my cichlid or something more aggressive, bigger, nicer. <laughs> but it's gonna be nice, just to start, just to start. But I think it looks good. I mean, for the first time, this is my first tank that I'm setting up myself, doing myself, decorating myself, everything myself. This other filter, this one's just temporary we got because we're going to set up that little one down there and maybe do a couple little guppies down in there too, but it's just sitting in there to keep the bacteria alive. But, hope you guys enjoyed the video. We got life going in the tank. So now I can get a good bio load going. You know, and I shouldn't have no problem anymore with all that al black algae I had. So, hope you enjoyed the video. You guys stay fishy, my friends. Barnaby, enough, buddy. Man, it's that time of the year for him. <laughs> Sorry about that. But you guys stay fishy, my friends. Hit that like, share, subscribe, and we'll go deeper with a reaper.